Hello everyone, this is Transolar12 with another Star Wars figure review. Today I have the Super Battle Droid from the Legacy Collection um, line. This retails at 7 well, with tax at seven fifty one at Walmart. I don't know what prices are the other one. Best price to get it at is Walmart. Don't go to Target, but it might be, it's about about the same price at uh, Toys R Us. So don't go to Target to buy the Star Wars figures. So yeah. Here's the review. Um, this is actually one of my favorite droids from the Legacy Collection line. Um, his articulation, his arms can move 360. His um, his elbow can go out, out and in. His arms can't go out. I don't think they can. No, they can. The elbow can go 360 degrees, and there's no articulation in the hands. The feet can pivot back and forth. Legs can pivot back and forth, and the feet have no articulation. So not very much articulation. But the cool thing about this figure is it can do a wicked cool um, thing with his arm. Because you know how in Episode 2 and Episode 3, how he shoots is with his arm like this. So to do that, what you have to do is turn this elbow. Let me figure this out. Okay. Like that. So the arm is like that now. And just raise it forward. He's in shooting mode. And I think that's pretty cool that Hasbro... Didn't just give it like that huge, uh, um, huge firing arm that he had in, uh, I don't know where that line it was. It was in Revenge of the Sith, the line, with that big old, uh, arm that wasn't even in the movie. I'm glad they just did this. I also do like the, uh, Dredica droid from Legacy Collection line. But you can see, you just stick his arm out and he can do a pretty cool, wicked pose. Now, this is my second review today. If you haven't seen it already, this, I've already done my V19 review, so this is going to be my second review of Star Wars Month, if you guys haven't heard. I'm going to be doing this all this month until um, October. I don't know when, that, when it's going to end at October. Probably halfway through October, because it's halfway through September right now. But, th yeah, this figure is pretty cool. Also, if you want to do like a stop motion, you could like uh, put his arm all the way down and bend up bend it up like he's loading, and then, like, pull it forward, and then, like, twist it. So you can do a pretty cool stop motion. These are the best figures to do for stop motion. This one right here is. Hope you guys liked this review. Um, if you like it, please rate it. Uh, even if you don't like it, please rate it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and keep collecting. May the Force be with you.